Tim Stanley, Blackout Easy, doing another session with RV with Tim. I'm here with Jimmy. He's with Colfax Trailer and, and Repair at, what's it, ColfaxTrailer.com? ColfaxTrailer.com. Colfax. Now, these guys do all my axle work. Remember, I had to replace an axle on the last trailer. These guys did the work on it, did new brakes. They put new radio tires on my other trailer, and they just fixed my tire on the trailer. Uh, had that blowout. Well, not a blowout, but I had a, a slow leak, and they fixed that for me about two weeks ago. So I'm here today because, Jimmy, what you going to do for me today? We're going to put a set of airbags on the truck. Uh, several features. Uh, it'll help with sway control, the stability uh, of your load, and it gives you a variance. Uh, there's other options, but with airbags, you can fine-tune exactly what you need. Okay. Uh, this particular brand... I like Airlift mm -hmm. for the reason is as you can see on the box. Okay. They have a built-in bounce stop. Okay. Uh, that way, if you ever deflate your airbags, mm -hmm. it's less likelihood you blow your bags out. Okay, gotcha. Uh, other brands, I'm not mentioning no names. They're good, mm -hmm. but they do not have that feature. Okay. And it's more likely you can blow your bags out. Okay. Uh, and down the road, if you ever do a compressor kit, electronic. Okay. This by far is the best company out there. Okay, good. Now he mentioned the compressor kit, and I told him I didn't want a compressor. I want things really simple. You know, I got a manual pump I carry with me anyway from a bicycle, so I didn't want any compressor, anything complicated. Now, how you say you're gonna rig it up? You're gonna go with one. What? Well, we're gonna have one inlet valve, and it's gonna come out back here at your tag. Okay. Uh, some people choose to. Uh -huh. But it's hard to get both bags exactly the same. Okay. And then they say, well, what if one bag leaks? Okay. Well, if one bag leaks, it's not going to do any good anyway. So right. You, it's easier to have one valve, and that way when you put 20 pounds in it, they both have 20 versus one having 20, one having 17. Got the way they fluctuate. Got you. And I, I really appreciate that. Everything we do is easy. At Blackout Easy. I like the easy way. He said one valve. I don't want a compressor, and I've looked on reviews, people are talking about how compressor makes it eat a lot easier, but I just don't want the hassle. I just want something simple, one valve, pump it up, and both of them be equal. And what I'm trying to do, um, Jimmy, is uh, I have a weight distribution hitch, right? But still, um, cars go by me, big trucks, I can feel it before they come. Man, get the little wag, and I'm uneven. You know, my truck's like this and the trail like that, and uh, I just need a, I just want a little more control, man. It'll definitely benefit you. Okay. Like I said, the problem is you're going to have to play with it to find what poundage works best for your load. Okay. Uh, most people, variance is between about 35 to 45 pounds. Okay. So, like I said, you just got to pick a starting point, mm -hmm. see how it does. You may want to increase a couple pounds or okay. decrease a couple pounds, and you'll find that happy number. Okay. Uh, and if you change loads, right, it'll vary again. Right, so, right. Uh, okay. But it will take away a lot of that, like I said, that trailer wag. And, uh -huh. and, and it definitely, your ideal, you want your trailer to level because if you're pulling unlevel, if you got like a tandem axle trailer, yeah, you're going to get more wear on your front axle versus your back axle. There. Okay. So that's why I'm trying to get your truck up. And rule of thumb is every inch your truck squats, Way it sits right now mm -hmm. in the trailer, you lose 10 feet of stop. Wow, okay. So, say if your truck is squatting four inches with your trailer on it, it's going to take you 40 more feet to stop than you would if you're going Okay, now you hear Jimmy, Jimmy's a pro. That's why I bring all my trailer and equipment, I, I bring it to Colfax and, and let Jimmy do the work on it because, um, and I looked, I saw this kit, some of these kits you can do it yourself. I was like, no way, I'm going to take it to the experts because. With an expert, too, you get the vice, just like he's talking about. And I know I can always bring it back, and he can help me with it. So, Jimmy, is there is there anything else um, I need to know or the people need to know? Well, one thing about getting an authorized installer, you get a better warranty. Right, okay. Uh, I can have stuff overnight if you had a problem. Right. Down the road, like I said, or for people who do do a compressor, if I do a compressor kit, you get a four-year warranty if I do it. Uh -huh. If you do it, you only get two years. Okay. <laughs> why? I don't understand. Well, I know why. You know why? Because if I'm doing it, I'm not as smart doing it as you are. Well, I don't never want to say nothing like that. So. <laughs>
you the expert. You do them all the time. But, so, but I mean, there's just a lot of benefits. Like yeah, I said, whether absolutely. you're pulling or right. just putting weight in your truck. Okay. I mean, you you'll benefit from it. All right. Well, well, Jimmy, I'm excited. So I'll be I'll drop the truck off and I'll come pick it up later. And man, I'm ecstatic to pull, make my first pull on it. We'll talk about it. All right. Yes, sir. Hey, appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm back. Been a couple of hours since I seen you. So you want to tell me what you did? Well, Took the factory bump stops off. Let me show you the factory bump stops. Uh, all right. So you took those off? So that's your factory bump stops. Okay. And then you got an external mount airbag set up on here. Uh, like I said, that replaces that. It's a helper. It, you know, each bag will do 5,000 pounds okay. support. So okay. you, you got a total of 10,000 more pounds of weight <laughs> capacity. Okay. Which is right. Probably more than you'll need. Right, uh, right. We got a T valve in there. Uh -huh. We got a torque right here. Okay. To air it up. And like okay. I said, you know, there's people who use bicycle pumps. That's yeah, so what I'm going to use. My son actually bought a $40 little air pump like a grill okay that thing is the neatest thing ever. is that right yeah but but like i said it's not like i said right now where we got it up like you can just lift some air out of it okay so and a uh, good question say that again like i said you can just push in and let your air out uh-huh you see your truck going down oh okay because when i pulled up i said hey my truck looks kind of high <laughs> it is you can see a truck yeah. going down yeah, so when we pulled up i can see the difference was oh, but yes, uh sir, sir. yeah but like I said, I would suggest keeping, like I said, five pounds in it mm -hmm. all the time. Okay. Like I said, that's not going to affect your ride. Okay. It's probably not going to raise you up a half inch more than mm -hmm. factory. It just makes it easier on them bellows. Because okay. You, if they're completely empty and you get hitting bumps, mm -hmm. that's what makes it harder on your bag. So you okay. just you work your bag harder than needed. If you've got a little air in it, they're not completely flashing flat. I got you. I got you. So uh, five pounds, remember, I need to keep yes. in it. All right, now what's the max I need to put it? I can. Well, you can put up to 100 PSI. Okay. Uh, we pumped them up to 70 to check for air leaks. Okay. I have pumped them up to 90. I've never heard of nobody going over about 50 pounds. Okay. To accommodate their trailer. Okay. So most people, uh, you're probably going to find a neighborhood of 30 to 45. How big is your, your RV? Your it's it's 33 feet. It's 30. about 7,500 pounds. You're probably going to be in that 40 to 45 pound range. That's okay. I, that's where I was starting. Yeah, the tongue is about uh, 600 pounds, and then I, with the weight distribution hits, I can go up to like a thousand pounds. But um, okay, so let's talk about the setup with the airbags. So I should first um, do my setup with my weight dis. Leave it at five pounds. Yeah. Do my weight distribution hits. Get that set up. Yeah. Then put air in it to level it off. Yes, sir. Okay. And like like we talked earlier, mm -hmm. like I said, for every inch your truck squat, you lose that 10 feet of stop power. Yep. So you can step back and put 10 pounds in it, step back, kind of get a visual on it. Yeah. See how your truck's sitting. Okay. If you feel you need a little more, add it. Okay. And then like I said, you may, it may look good, but it may be too stiff. Okay. Or it might make Dang, oh, my truck riding a little rough. Okay. You might have to take a few pounds out. So okay, it's just all like the yeah. feel and control you yes. got on the road. Yes, sir. Like I said, my personal truck, when I had that big trailer out there a little yeah. while ago, uh -huh. I was running 40 in it and I got hitting some bridges in it. Just, man, it's just got a little more than what I want. Right. So I pumped that up to 50 and that felt perfect. 45, okay. I could tell that 55, it was two style. I didn't have no gear. Okay. So 50 pounds on that 50 foot trailer right. was perfect. Okay, gotcha. So, like city it, it's going to be a variation i mean you're going to have to play with it mm -hmm. to find your hack okay find. okay so, all right otherwise you're going to be taking uh, i hope so yeah. i hope so yes sir. um uh when i told my wife what i was doing man she fussed me out last night you gonna do what i said yeah airbag put airbag oh my goodness and uh and i told her about see you gonna put airbags on it so but yeah um but she's yeah. she's not driving it you know she's on the passenger side she don't, feel she don't feel well you know what she can fit she has the wind blowing or something and it's amazing when i'm pulling that trailer i can a car come past me before i can feel the car before i even see it get that wind. i get that wind and i just want to i just want a better better ride better control. i have some customers that have the compressor set up mm -hmm. they'll actually they instead of putting a little air in it they'll 
they'll hook up and they'll stand over, say, toward that truck 20 feet away. Right. And just watch their truck and get their truck. Oh, see that down. now with the air compressor. See, see, you didn't say all that. See, you see you see what I'm saying? You can always come back and add it. <laughs> <laughs> and get fussed at again. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's what keeps it interesting at home. Okay, okay. I got you. So, look, is there, is there maintenance? Do I need to come back to There's, you every now and then? Or what's... This is a maintenance-free setup. Okay. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Okay. And just use the same... Uh, Valve, I use uh, pressure gauge, do tires, just do that, yes, sir. Like I said, if you're going to run low pressure, you got to make sure you might have a low, like a full wheel. Yeah, yeah, one. I got, yeah. Like I mm -hmm. said, some of my truck ones don't go down to okay. 10, 15 pounds. Right. I mean, they might, right. lowest they might go is 30, 40 pounds. Gotcha. So, right. Okay. Uh, some of them did little digital ones work really good on okay. the airbags. I'll well, do that, man. So, look, I, look, I'm ready to go camp. I'm going to go get the camper right now. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Look, look, look it up. Look it up. All right. Look it up. So man, I really appreciate you. Um, yes, dropped it off. What about 10:30, 10 o'clock? Yes. Now it's 4:30, and it's been waiting. Cause I yes. called the ladies. Yeah, it's ready. It's up front. So man, I appreciate you. Uh, about three hours. Took, about three work. hours. Yes. Man, it looks professional. Yes. I looked at it and just uh, let's get another look at this. Uh, look at that system. Look at that, man. I feel like I'm a truck driver. You see that in there? You see that airbag in there? Look like I'm a. All I need is a diesel engine now. You, you sell diesel engines, I can sound like a big we, truck. We can do a swap. Okay. We, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Tim Stanley, Blackout Easy, doing another session with RVing with Tim. I'm here with Jimmy. We at Colfax Trail and Repair. I do all my trailer work here. Axles, they do all that for me. And uh, it's at ColfaxTrailer.com, right? Yes, sir. It's in the Colfax, North Carolina, right here off uh, 40 and, and, and close to 68, so Sandy Ridge Road. So. If you need anything, come out and see these guys and take care of you. And I'm going to shoot a video when I first hook the trail up and talk about it. So, man, I'm Tickle Pink. Appreciate you, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank you. And have a great day. Yes, sir.